Hello and welcome back to our instructional video series for the Clear Concepts app. Now today, we're going to be covering the Administration Center in the app. So as shown, we have the Clear Concepts app open on our screen. Scrolling down a little bit, we can see the blue Administration Center button. Keep in mind that only users with the appropriate permissions will have access to this portion of the app. Assuming you have admin privileges and see the button in your version of the app, simply click to enter. So as soon as you enter, you'll be greeted with a sidebar on the left-hand side of the screen. This sidebar will remain open for the entirety of your time in the Administration Center and can be used to navigate to the various pages or reports within it. Now, if at any time you would like to leave the Administration Center, and return to the main screen of the Clear Concepts app, simply click Exit Admin Center in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Okay, so working through the list of pages in sequence, let's start with Dashboard. At the top of the page, we could see the number of support tickets created, opened, and closed within your organization over the last 30 days. Now below these is a line graph showing the number of support tickets open by month, year over year. Now this provides an excellent view to see where you're trending in terms of ticket volume and how you compare to the same time last year. And then below this line graph, we have a list of all open tickets within your organization. Okay, next on the list is the Account Copilot. Now this exciting new feature infuses AI into administrative tasks and operates very similarly to the Clear Concepts Copilot described previously. Okay, let's ask it about the status of a specific ticket. Let's also inquire to see if we have any outstanding invoices. The Quotes page itemizes any quotes that you have requested from our sales team. Next we have the Tickets page. And here we can see all of our organization's tickets in descending order from their creation date. You can search for tickets by placing specific keywords within the search box and hitting Enter. You can filter your list by selecting the filter icon, making your selections, and clicking Apply. And then lastly, you can resort the list by either priority level, the date the ticket was entered, or the date in which the ticket was last updated. You can also open up the ticket page for a specific ticket just by clicking on it. Here we can see all the ticket information and ticket activity. You can also add notes to the ticket and enter the chat support queue from this page. The Invoices page lists all of your invoices. And here we can see the invoice number, the invoice amount, invoice creation and due dates, and the status of your invoice. Clicking a specific invoice opens up the invoice page. And here we get a more granular view of the invoice, including which products and time entries are being accounted for in it. The inventory page details all of the managed hardware your organization has on account. So here we're provided the hardware type, hardware identifier, the date in which the hardware was deployed, and the status of that piece of hardware. Clicking a specific piece of hardware opens up the inventory page. And here, we get more specifics on this particular piece of equipment. And lastly, we have the Agreements page. Here, we can see a list of all active agreements that your organization has with Clear Concepts. Thank you for joining us in today's video. And be sure to check out the other instructional videos to get the most out of your experience using the Clear Concepts app.